turn 37, so I survived my leader passage in the void. He's back, and so it means I'm going to research cannon next turn. Then I will be able to start producing it, but my blast furnace will be ready only in two turns, and then I uh, really need a builder to build back some watchtowers that were destroyed by Jenny Thunder. So first cannon should be in uh, four turns, and actually I need two turns to produce them, so five turns. So it's uh, quite a long time actually. Um, it's still pretty tense and I hope I didn't make any mistake, we'll see. So I checked uh, in this area with my spy drone and I didn't see any army. And I've got this second spy drone checking here and not seeing anything. Uh, he's retreating with his uh, high elf initiate that he bought at the inn. And here he's building a watchtower. Um, I hesitated to check it with my eagle rider, but then I thought it would be actually not take it but destroy it. But I, I think it would be quite stupid because then he would be able to attack me with I think he has at least three units here plus this one. Um, so yeah, it would just sacrifice my eagle rider for no real gain. And instead, if he builds the watchtower here, it means either that he will have to split his garrison in two, uh, which will be good for me to, to kill them, or it will be undefended and then I can just send my spy drone here or some other unit and um, take it and have a good view of what is around, which will be even better than sending troops there to, to check. So actually it may help me to have this watchtower here. So the spy drone is going to be um, in the vision range of the of the watchtower, but then if he sends just one unit, it's probably going to be a draw. So he sacrifices a unit, and here it's too far, I think. And so anyway, it will um, reduce his garrison, so it's also good. And if he doesn't kill it, then I can probably take the watchtower. Um, so that was one scenario I didn't anticipate. It's that. Um, Johnny took the Raging Maelstrom and he probably uh, saw my units because he he was supposed to have five vision ra vision range and I was in the in the range of the of the Maelstrom. So he probably saw my five units and considered he could not win with his four units, which I'm not sure was the case. I think he could have uh, gained against me. Could have he could have won against me. Uh, but still, it's good for me, he didn't kill me. Um, so I decided to, to go and take this. So first I sent my flyer to check if I saw anything in the area. I also sent my halfling hunter uh, from here to there. And I'm not seeing anything here. Um, and I'm going to just retreat on the, on the forest here. I'm not putting myself in this forest because if he sends some units from his run, he's going to move there and see the, the hunter, so it's better to stay there. And, um, and then s I sent my AD to check for uh, concealed units and also to take the, the city because with only the flyer it would not have been possible to beat uh, these four units. So to beat them I used Call Ancestral Spirit which is quite good against undeads thanks to his uh, spirit damage. And so I was able to, to kill them all and, and stay full life uh, thanks to one heal with nourishing meal. And so this guy saw my the fight and that's also why I didn't send all my troops but only these two to uh, keep, keep him in the dark about where my other troops are. And now I'm going to retreat here um, in the water and... Well, I just, I just thought about something bad for me but... Uh, one reason to stay on the water is uh, to avoid him being able to attack me with his troops on, on land. But actually, firstling have fast embark, so they could uh, pr maybe embark. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's nine, so they could actually embark. But here you've got some wetland, so 
Um, in theory they can't because they don't have enough movement points even with Arctic walking. But it's just it's just like they can but move uh, lacking only two movement points. So in theory I should be good. And here he also can't reach me uh, if he doesn't use Death March. And if he does use Death March, then he should be 50% uh, health. So in theory I should be good. So let's just retreat and see the gold upkeep be reduced to plus 28 thanks to uh, sustainable warfare, which is quite nice here and really useful. And same for my second army with with the theocrat with um, vow of poverty. So I I did cast um, scorched earth on this, but actually it's a very bad. Uh, city to burn for me because it, it just gives uh, 33 gold uh, because there is no gold or mana producing structures on it um, that could be the forbidden sanctum but it's not yet on the on the on the domain so not that much gold but at least one less city for him and some evil uh, alignment for me which is good for my um, for my happiness and for my troops um, and maybe I can get the quest pure evil, but we'll see. So I s that's that's it for the surface and I took back the the watchtower and I'm going to go back on the ground and hide there and then, then I don't have any movement points left. So I can see if he tries to cross the underground. Um, this is empty. Then so this guy is staying here. I, I took a decision to move with my leader and all his army. Um, actually not all, I'm s keeping some units at my throne. And the reason I do this is I can't really stay at my throne forever. Uh, that would not be very productive and I need to clear and level up and stuff. And then moving north through the northern way is a bit slow. And then I can reach only this and if either continue on the east or again move like this and it's very very slow or instead I can take this way and move here and move back here clear this stuff and ga gain a new settling site and I can also complete the quest the quest from from my from my vessel so um, that was the reasoning but then I just hope it doesn't have any big army here because I still don't know where his two heroes are and if I check his race happiness to see if I can see some new new stuff it's still like raised uh, halfling city and nothing else so yeah I don't know where it is two heroes are probably still there but not really sure um, and then so I've got Ah, yeah, I've I've got five mountains to do this dwelling quest, so I could also send this army to try to do the dwelling quest. That's an option, um, and might be the best option actually. And then I've got a new thing to worry about. It's that Jean is coming uh, with a banshee, and I assume that he has more troops coming from here. So I should check. So these three sites are not explored yet, and here. Uh, he controls this. It's not consumed. It's not consumed. And here I don't know exactly. It's not consumed. And I should actually soon arrive in this area. Uh, I'm hoping that this is a dirt um, corridor that I can I can take. And if you dism, you can see here there is uh, some some rocks. So when you dism, you can see more clearly what's what's next. And it's just like here, you can see there is a, a path. So my hope is that I can move through here and then maybe probably go take his his vessel, uh, which might slow him down a little. But then I would be at risk because I don't know where his troops are and uh, he could attack my, my army, but we'll see. And if, if this doesn't work, then I've got the builder uh, building a fortress here to get plus 40 gold. Uh, and then I would just move here to the to this, and it it looks like here you can you can go. 
uh, and I also have my hailhound scooting here on the lava to, to see what I can find. Um, I I I had 63 castings, uh, so I used 40 for the scorch earth and 20 on mana fuel cell here. So it's one turn earlier than I I needed. Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm that's a bit stupid. Actually, I could have didn't think about it, but I could have kept the, the spell and then just cast it later. But actually, yeah, there was a reason to do this. Is is that I killed um, this scoundrel and I didn't want uh, the auto combat to cast spells, so that's why I used the mana first. But anyway, I'm not really lacking mana, so I I guess it's okay. And so it means now I will be able to do the Dwarf Forge Priest in one turn. Uh, so I'm going to produce more. And and then I hesitated a lot between a Spy Drone, one more Scorch Earth to uh, burn to burn this. But I'm not sure I can take it actually. So I don't think I need it right now. And uh, mana fuel cell to cast on my throne, but on my throne I don't really need it because I already have 72 production and I will get plus 5 from Blast Furnace and the cannon is 150 uh, base cost minus 10% because of the Empire upgrade so I can 2 turns them and mana fuel cell won't change anything but then I can cast mana fuel cell here and uh, build my settler more quickly. Um, but I don't think I I I can do this la later. I think, and more importantly, now that I have a banshee here, the um, spy drone can be useful uh, to defend here or try to catch it if she stays on water, and then I can embark, cast the spy drone, and en engage the fight with the spy drone. Otherwise, I can also use it here if needed, and if it doesn't take the city. So, Spider-Man is the best option, I think. So, I got Summer of Love here, and it grew into a village thanks to thanks to that. And uh, I think that's it for this turn. Yeah. So I'm really lagging behind, I think, because uh, we are turn 37 and I still have only 3 cities and uh, I lost one hero, uh, my my necro is only level 4, my leader is, is good, but uh, 4 heroes actually, yeah. I've got the Theocrat and the AD also, and I still don't have cannon, so I'm lagging behind and I guess Jean uh, has a much stronger economy and stuff. And uh, I guess he is. Um, it looks like he doesn't have any opponent, so that's really bad for for me and for Johnny, because it means he's probably going to come for for us. It looks like from here to there there is no one. Uh, so we'll see. We should actually fight Jean, but I need to first kill Johnny. See you next time.